States Marine Corps flag. Let's make some noise for Jason Booker! I can't see her with that beautiful smoke on. Isn't that awesome? Came right back down through. Judy does a lot of volunteer work. She serves as a fast team representative. It's not just the big C-130s uh, like the one we have here in the tarmac, but uh, also the helicopters that can get in and get those precise drops for it. So Aaron Fitzgerald in the Red Bull helicopter. Look at that. I'd say it's an aileron roll, but it's not. <laughs> it looks so easy, and it is so not. So great job to Aaron in the, the Red Bull helicopter. I want to thank all the planes that are out here for the statics, but uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to my Navy crew. Right behind me from VAW 116, the world famous Sun Kings. The flight crew today that's out there, you can go. Nice, or Mark Ford. Very nice to hear that. They uh, had an accident. Two of them collided over Cannon Hill. In that hill, two of them collided. The guys drilled out, survived, and he left to the war. We have in the audience says we're sounding good, and uh, we want to thank him and all our friends from Naval Base Ventura County that are out here supporting active duty and retired and uh, for you uh, youngsters who are considering an opportunity to join the service. Doesn't have to be the Navy, but I'm a little biased having uh, over 19 years of service as active duty and a civilian for the Navy. But uh, definitely plenty of people out here that are willing to talk to you. So uh, all our friends and retirees out in the crowd, I want to give you a big shout out to see you. And once again, I want to thank Visit Camarillo for hosting the VIP tent down there. Our friends Juliana and Bailey, I know you're hosting and taking great care. I'm up here busy. They gave me a great invite. I don't think I'm going to be able to get down there, but uh, it's always nice to come to serve you. You know, Ron, you talk about uh, the special. I think a lot of people don't know, but it's worth mentioning. These warbirds, they have more annual inspection requirements than general aviation planes would. So we see these RV planes and these rockets flying around. These are general aviation planes. We just got the word that the sailplane is going to fly. It's flying right now. On their 16th birthdays, they earned their private glider licenses and so on all of our tow planes, including the Cessna 180 that is towing today. And on their 18th birthdays, they earned commercial and certified flight instructor glider ratings. You can find Garrett at Sky Sailing most days of the week. And Garrett was the U.S. national champion three times represented the United States planes at Sky Sailing. For those of you that have always had the desire to learn to fly, now is your chance. The sailplane is the safest and best way to not only learn to fly, but also take a ride in. The sailplane Magic Grove has a wingspan of over 57 feet and weighs 900 pounds. It has a glide ratio of 36 to 1, which means on a calm day from one mile up, I could glide for 36 miles. We fly out of Warner Springs, which is located in the northeast corner of San Diego County, just east of Temecula. Now, for you power...
That's how it goes. We're having a good laugh up here. A lot of insider uh, air, air show jokes amongst uh, our friends who we've seen. That's his half human age. thing about formation flying it's really neat you're so focused on it it's actually is one of the most freeing things in the planet because you're just sitting there you can't think of anything else you just are doing the work and it's actually a lot of fun because no matter what happened prior that day when you strap on that aircraft and you join up in formation that's the only thing you're doing and it's a blast for that reason because yeah. you know you're doing something very few people on earth can do we were talking about it earlier, Greg, but uh, watching that Blue Angels documentary really, I think, uh, brought the point you're talking about home. Not only the trust you have in the lead, but those in-the-cockpit camera shots where you can see not only how close they fly. His demands increase, but uh, really, really incredible when we talk about the amount of trust in these formation pilots. And they have to have a plan how to break away, not only how to fly close, but if someone has trouble with an engine or something. Yeah, there's a total plan. Yeah, every every one of these type of flights, when you see these type of airplanes, every one of these flights are very, very brief. You go through everything, you look at the map, you look at the area where you're gonna be flying, you look at the type of form. And when you see the guy, you know, if you see a guy in a flight suit, it's not an annoying oh, thing to say hi. Obviously, you fly. What do you? Here we're looking at Sammy as he pulls around into a vertical downline. I'd like to introduce to you Sammy's favorite maneuver, the snap roll. Sammy pitch kicks and rolls into multiple rolls to the right. Two up! 
separate. And uh, bug divider uh, is a little girl riding in a plane just like this one. Bleed off. And the more airspeed you bleed off, the more altitude you cannot gain. And if you look, she's bringing that aircraft to control. She makes some high altitude shots here. That is done by being smooth. Talk about G pulling. It was incredible what they did. Those dive bomber pilots, they were pulling six to ten G's sometimes in those aircraft, according to some of the veterans I've talked to. All right, here we go. Strange paint scheme. Get your cameras ready.